Now to a uh, breaking late story. Another major change for St. Augustine's University. The Wake County School Board tonight voted to end its 10 year agreement with the university for the Wake Leadership Academy. That means at the end of the year, that program is going to go away. At least it will go away at St. Augustine's. That partnership allowed Wake High School students to take classes at St. Augs and get college credit without having to pay for it. The state did. Students asked the board to keep it at their meeting tonight. The discontinuation of the early college program, even for a year, is unacceptable. We deserve to be in a program we sent out for, with the only adequate solution to this devastating issue being a partnership with the four university by the fall, not a scrap together solution of what we were once promised. This comes amid major financial trouble for the university. Now, as we first told you last night at 11 o'clock, students have been asked to leave April 3rd, and the rest of the semester is going to be remote learning. And we've learned that there's a petition with more than 1,600 signatures right now asking that the trustee board resign. That position is on change.org. It was started in December and echoes much of the same of what we learned Monday night in a resolution, this one, by several alumni groups asking for the majority of the board of trustees to resign. Uh, uh, with the exception of two amid the university's mounting debt and mounting legal problems. We did talk to the president of SAU Parents of Students Association, one of those groups. She tells us she signed this resolution to get the board of trustees to step down because it's time. You know, there's been changes in staff and, and faculty. There's been changes in presidents. I think now the board needs to be changed. The university owes millions of dollars in back taxes to the federal government. They owe money to several companies throughout the Raleigh area. We did reach out several times to administrators, uh, folks at the university yesterday and today, and we have yet to hear back.